Oh, Shalom. It's your brethren, Wendem Yadin. It's Aras Yadinos, Ras Adonis again. And we're still on the subject matter of um, Snoop Doggy Dog and some of the, the chatter that's out there concerning his um, his participation, appearance at the Nyabingi, as well as some of the other statements that he has made. Um, he's in, I think, maybe still in Jamaica right now, but he's filming a documentary. Um, some statements about him being a reincarnation of uh, Burhana Salase, you know, has incited some theological um, um, debate because, you know, perhaps that's the wrong word for it, you know, and just like many of you all, you know, really don't know your Fidel, don't know your Amharic, can't, can't go up for the Rastafari Aliyah and read from the Mets of Caduce. That means there's a lot of knowledge that you do not even know. So we would ask mercy on me, but what about showing a little bit of mercy towards towards even ones like Snoop Doggy Dog? It's not to say that perhaps it's not as some say, some sort of um, diabolical conspiracy against Rastafari and against his majesty, but here's what we have to understand is that diabolical conspiracies against His Majesty and Rastafari have been going on ever since the rebellion, ever since the first fall. You, you know what I'm saying? And there's no weapon that is formed against I and I that shall prosper. Let's recognize that. And even among those of our um, kith and kin and brethren, you know, many times you can see that the fault is not in Ja, but in I and I selves. You know, we are not being faithful and true as we should. And I just see this particular this particular um subject matter of um Snoop Doggy Dog and the Nyabingi and his statements towards um um being the reincarnation of Bob Marley as being very interesting. Well theologically we know that um th that can't be the situation. You know, I mean you can feel Marley, you know what I mean? And you can feel his message and you can identify with him because he's a brethren. So I think more of the curiosity is about the half of the story that hasn't been told concerning the King of Kings, concerning our black Hebrew, black Israelite, um, we as the lost sheep connection, that many ones and ones, even Whitney Houston most recently, you know, we find that she had plans of... Um, uh, returning to Israel to get baptized in order to get like a spiritual um, rebirth and a, and, and a spiritual protection, which means that she recognized, and of course, anybody in that business, you know, knows there's some real, you know, knows that there's real world evil going on. But for us to fire bun, you know, to fire bun just the, the mere idea of like Snoop Doggy Dog riding nigh a bingy or going to a bingy, I think is is is, is bad mind. That's that's strictly bad mind. Now of course people say, but he's done this and he's done that. So you are the judge and jury. Perhaps that's what you think you are. You know what I'm saying? But what does Josh say? Because a lot of us in that fire bun, fire bun, so forth so on. on the matter of reincarnation, I think that is uh, not just poor theology, but it's lack of understanding or overstanding of the teaching of his majesty. So who's responsible to put out the teaching of his majesty to make sure that any newcomer, whether they're coming out of the world, coming out of the Babylon system, whether they became a big star or whatever in Babylon, but now they're curious. So now they're coming to us. Do we have a good answer? You understand? Do we have a reason? Are we able to be reasonable for the sake of the King of Kings and his Christ or are some of y'all so-called Rastas become like Rasta Pharisees? You know, and, and this is a, this is what we pointed out from from the get. You know, concerning there's a difference between Rasta and Rastafari. You know what I'm saying? There's a difference between the, the the roots that we call roots here and our true Ethiopian Hebrew roots, and we have to recognize the connection between those things. So, this is not to say that one we don't know what one's intent you know, what one's inner intentions are. But we see this more as a, as a positive so far. Based on everything that we've been able to see and, and read and follow up on, it's a black man who is curious 
or, or seeking more knowledge and more awareness and experience of the half of the story that he couldn't get in, in Compton or, or in, in the ghetto because they wanted to make sure that knowledge, that light, did not shine. You understand? Now we're at this prophetic time, and some of you are just firebunding it instead of praying and hoping that one's intention is, is true and faithful, and even if one is able to do all in your power to make sure you put the brother or the, the, the brother-to-be, you know, he's a brother as a black man, but in the faith, a brother-to-be, on the, right, on the right track. Give him the 411 instead of just bunning him because, because you, I think it's because it's kind of like hate. It's, it's still about some hate, and it's, it's about ignorance. It means you're ignorant of the teaching of his majesty. And we know that his majesty, for both Bob Marley and for I and I, is I and I light and I and I salvation. It's him that has given us the truest testimony of our black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMoshiach. And it's also him who is that key man, you know, that key manifestation of God and Christ in our very time. He's the half of this whole so-called New World Order, you understand, story. You see, because the New World, the true New World is of Christ. You know, Satan already loses. You see, so the real game is, is what are you going to choose to do? You know, it's not about any weapon formed against the King of Kings, any weapon formed against his plan. He's just given humanity an opportunity, you understand, to decide. And also giving many of us as Rastafari also the opportunity to grow up, to grow up and recognize what man or what spirit we are of. And so we heard all this fire, 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 bun. You know, loose fire is still Lucifer. Think about it. Word, sound, and power. Pick sense out of nonsense. Loose fire is still Lucifer. So just loosely fire, bun, fire, blah, 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 blah. You know what I mean? You just burn fire aimlessly. But what does the teaching of his majesty state? So let's check this out. This is my all what the men says caduce. How do I'm lot? Baruch Hashem. Blessed be the name of the King of Kings, Kadamawi Haile Selassie, and his Christ, our black Lord and Savior, Yeshua HaMoshiach. Jesus Christos, otherwise known as Jesus Christ. Here, there's a very interesting incident. Um, it's in Luke chapter 9, and, and we're going to direct this to um, some of the chatter out there um, concerning Snoop Doggy Dog and, and Rastafari and Anaya Bingi and and Bob Marley, Bob Marley Connection, so forth and so on. And we're mainly directing this message you know, to um, our so-called brothers, you know, who may be a little, and sisters, who may be a little, uh, what is this about? Oh, this is a takeover. Oh, this is, oh, we can't trust in fire button. They're trying to, uh, I mean, why are you, you know, why are you panicking? You know, why are you panicking? Is that what John, John didn't tell I and I to panic? You know, he told us to walk in the grace of his beloved son, of our black Lord and Savior, not to panic. You know what I mean? To check it out. You know, check it out. You know, investigate, search it out. You know, not to judge anything before it's time. You know what I mean? I mean, okay, let's let's put it like this. Mm. Yes, yeah, Snoop been in the world. He's done a lot of stuff. We've seen some vids, and we like, we don't want to tell you that we've seen the vids, but yes, we've seen these sort of vids ourselves, right? And of course, it's part of the it's part of the filth of Babylon, part of the filth of the world. But then let's not be hypocrites, you know. Like we, we our garments have not been spotted by this world. True, we're supposed to live up. True, we're supposed to repent. We're supposed to work out our salvation. We're supposed to um, uh, mortify the old man, you know, mortify. But see, a lot of y'all haven't even done it yourself. And then maybe you all didn't get that far in show business or whatnot like that. So you figure, well, once he's out there, now people say, well, he's made a deal with Illuminati. He sold his soul. And we was talking to a sister about this a little earlier. We're going to get into this verse right here. But we were talking to a sister about this. So she asked. She had a question. It was a good question, but it's on the same subject matter, topic, and theme. When she said, if one has been out there in the world and, and has 
got involved in a lot of the filth and pollution of the world. I mean, you know, we don't have to give a litany of things that they've done. Just think about whatever thing you say is unforgivable in your book, because you're not God. So, hey, you, you don't have to forgive it, but for the, for the sake of our Lord and Savior, you should consider you know, you should consider it because it's the way of the King of Kings, it's the way of Haile Selassie. When we are educated, not ignorant. See, we're supposed to be children in matters of wrath. You understand? But to be mature, you understand, in knowledge. That means we have to learn. Rastafari is not about ignorance. You know, ignorance in spirit, ignorance in thought, or ignorance in our physical worldly action. But true, none of us are perfect you know what I'm saying? When we first come to the light of Rastafari, is that true or is that false? So how are we seeking to even guide the brother and see whether he's willing for guidance? You see what I'm saying? Instead, everybody just bun and bun and bun and bun and bun. But that's going to bring us to this point. We'll get to what the, what, what the sister asks, I and I, because I think it connects with this um, particular um, point. Um, and this particular, we're going from the Schofield Study Bible. We have it at our website, www.lojsociety.org. You could download it. PD, it's a PDF file. You can use it on your mobile device, your, your, your e-book reader, or your computer, or whatever like that. But we'll suggest if you want to get a hard copy, a lot of pages, unless you can afford that and have the paper for it, it's better just to get a, get a copy, click on our Books tab, and you'll see this particular. This is the old Schofield Study Bible. Um, but we're in Chapter 9. Mm -hmm. And though this whole chapter is interesting, we're going, to start, um, we're going to start from, this is around the time of Christ. He foretells his, his death or the crucifixion. We'll start from verse 46. Now, there's three particular portions of this. One is the sermon on the child, the sermon on the child. Secondly is the rebuke of sectarianism. You know, like one says, I am Bingy, one says, I am Bobo, one says, I am Twelve Tribe, one says, I am Orthodox, one says this and that. But, you know, the bodies of Christos, you know, is the corporate body of I and I. And the head is the Ras, is Ras Tefari. You know, so, that, so let's get out of that sectarianism. So it touches on sectarianism. And then the main part that we want to um, respond to all this loose fire, this loose fire burning, is, is, is subscribed as the new spirit of grace. Final departure from Galilee, which is Christ's final departure from, from Galilee. Mm -hmm. The name Galilee is also interesting in that, in that light, but we'll try to get it off of the more um, intermediate and advanced levels of, of the teaching of this and deal with some of this, the basics, right? So verse 46 says, Then there arose a reasoning. See, reasoning. Then arose a reasoning among them, which of them should be greatest? You know, and that reasoning has risen in Rastafari too. Who is the greatest? Is it, I like Bob, I like Peter. You know, I, I like... Um, this one or that one or Emmanuel or, or Sam Brown or, 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 or Howell or, you know, I mean, this sort of, this sort of sectarian, this divide, the, this, who is greatest, you know? And Yeshua, Jesus, perceiving the thought of their heart and also perceiving that even we who would come in the new name of Rastafari will go through this same learning curve. It's like a learning curve in spirit, you understand? Um, and Yeshua, perceiving the thought of their heart, took a child. He took a child, a little child, right? And he, and he set him by him. So let me, let me get this right here. He took, a, he took a child. You understand, like the Son of Man right there. He took a child, right? He took a child, and he set, it by, and, and he set this child by him, right? All right? Um, a beautiful cover right here. He took the child and he set the child by him, right? Um, and said to them, now he's going to speak to them. He said, um, whosoever shall receive, you know what receive me? Receive me in Kabbalah, Kabbalah, the true Kabbalah, the Ethiopic reception, the receptivity to the King of Kings and his Christ. Whosoever shall receive, show Kabbalah, this child, shall receive this child in my name. In my name, 
receiveth me. So if you receive a youngin, a young one, this doesn't mean just a little child. You understand? Spiritually speaking, it's one who is a young one, one who's a newborn, one who is seeking the light of his majesty and his Christ. And whosoever shall receive me, shall Kabbalah me, Kabbalah's him, or receiveth him that sent me. For he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. He who is the least one among you all. So the Father says, I'm going to lift up the one who is least and make the one who is great and make that one great. You know what I'm saying? Those who seek for their own greatness, he says he's going to make them make them least. Because it was too busy thinking about who's going to get the fame and fortune. And we will caution, um, caution Snoop Doggy Dog if he gets to see this or whatnot. And um, he should, you know, because this, this is Rastafari. This is real Rastafari. Not Jamaica, but Rastafari is, is global. You understand? Rastafari is international, non-partial. You um, will question him about some of that um, being the next or uh, Bob Marley, so forth and so on. We, we, in spirit, we can overstand, maybe use reincarnation, because that's what a lot of ones and ones in the world have been hearing about. You understand? Where is the teaching of his majesty? Where's the, where's the pure teaching of his majesty at? Where is it to be found? His majesty tells us, for my part, I glory in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? One can have, 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 have the spirit. You know, God gives the spirit of understanding, of wisdom, of reasoning. Even music is a gift of God. Now, how you use that, you know, do you use it for godly things, for job, for truth, for reality? Or are you using it for materialism, for ego, so forth? And um, so forth and so on. Let's just get the, the Amharic of this because we want to get the Amharic. So just to prove that Kabbalah part. Because you hear a lot of people talking about the Kabbalah. You understand? Talking about the Kabbalah. Well, I and I have the original Kabbalah. You understand? His majesty has the original Kabbalah. Because that's the Kabbalah of Christ. That's the Kabbalah of the true Messiah. That's the Kabbalah of the great illuminator. You understand, not, not ones who are in darkness calling themselves Illuminati. You understand, you know, lying to the people. Remember, the devil's a liar. So he says Illuminati because he's in darkness. He's not in light. You understand, it's I and I who are in the, in the light or the truth of the King of Kings and his Christ. So the verse right here that we just read, verse um, Arba, Arba Cement or 48, it says, um, Manam. Manam yehina hitan besame yemi kebel yemi kebel kebel kebel. We say ke because that's that Ethiopian click, but they will say gobel 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 kabel kabel, and they put a K and put a C sound, and you see it written with a with a K with a C with a Q. Q is really the proper, but they don't put the Q there because they're not the original people and they can't pronounce the sound the way the Ethiopian, who is the original, pronounced the sound. So it's yemi kebel. All those who receive and one who receives me, hulu, all. The one who sent me receives. So all those who receive, so it's almost like a chain in a sense. There's a connection. So if, if, if one receives a child, you understand? In his name. If a child comes to you in his name, if a youngin, one who don't know. Now, people say, well, what about what they did? What about, do you not know the teaching of his majesty? Do you not know his majesty's son? You don't know Christ? You don't know Yeshua? You don't know that the Bible is his glory? Then you need to, you know, you need to catch up while you have time. You know, while there is time. And then he says, Kahulachu, Yemiyans, Yemiyanis. Uh, he says, and from all of you, from all of you, the one who is smallest, you understand? He is the greatest. You know, you know why he's the greatest? The one who is like that youngin, that new one. And if Snoop Doggy Dog's intent is, 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 true, is, is true and real, you know, then in a sense, he is the greatest. In that sense, he's the greatest because John turns that one who is the, the, the child, who doesn't know because there's great, it's like a seed. You know what I mean? It's a seed for the king of kings and his kingdom. There's great potential. 
Now, all this loose fire, fire bun this, fire bun that, like a bunch of Rasta Pharisees, yo, you know, I was one of the ones that Rasta Pharisees, people thought, oh, that, that can't be so, well, you know, open your eyes and see. So the rebuke of sectarianism comes here, verse 49. And Johannes answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name. In other words, there was one who was, check this out, casting out demons. Oh, John says we're supposed to be able to cast out demons. And so we say a lot of these people are possessed or got possessed or Babylon want to possess them and, and, and doing all sort of stuff. It's us who is that, how can you say, we are the kingdom of God's strike troops. That's what we're supposed to be for the kingdom of God in Christ. You see, the Christians have already, a lot of the Christians have already fallen off of Zion train. You know what I mean? They've gotten caught up. Some of them are worse than, than the worst sinners out there. The only thing is they go to church regularly, so forth and so on. You know, they don't do any bad thing because they, they're afraid of, of man's law, but they violate God's law and violate, you know, that Christian, that Christ covenant that they are supposed to be in as Christian. Otherwise, so much wickedness couldn't be going on in the world and people going to sleep and having a good night's sleep and just thinking about the, the physical flesh and blood boss in the morning and not about this wickedness. You know what I mean? It's a conflict against the faith. So John now answers and says, Master, we saw one casting out devils in thy name, and we forbade him. Hmm. You heard that? They saw one who was casting out devils in Christ's name, and they forbade him. Can you imagine? It's like us saying we see one going forward talking about Rastafari, but they're not part of our Bingy Bobo 12 tribes or another, another sect or another mansion or another house. They're not part of, they're, they're not part of us, so we just bun them out, right? And, and you're going to see this. This is what makes... This is what proves who Rastafari and Spirit and Truth really are. You understand? Because all these lessons, we can go through them and see how they apply to the challenges that you call problems, you understand, and the lack of progress in the Rastafari movement. And if we go, if, if we return to the, the, the head, return to the beginning, return to teach him his majesty, his majesty lays it out, who can resist an invitation so full of compassion? Question. It's a question each of us need to seriously think about before it's too late. And we forbade him, John says, because he followeth not with us. Check that out. They saw one, instead of saying, listen, we saw a man that was casting out devils in your name, right? Um, is, is, do, do you know him? They didn't, they didn't ask that. They didn't say, do, do you know him? I mean, is he one of your disciples too? And then they could ask, well, you know, we want him to try with us. Now, notice something too. Notice that the disciples had a problem or a challenge. There was, a, there was a, a kind of a blockage. They were not able to cast out devils that well. You understand? And we'll go through this and we'll show you how because of the weakness, Christ even said because of the weakness of their faith. In other words, not, they were not willing to go all the way. You know, somebody like Snoop Doggy Dog can get the light of Rastafari and go all the way for Rastafari like he was going all the way for the world. Imagine that. You see, this is what we've been saying for a long time, that, that the Almighty is going to flip some of these. Some of these ones and ones who've been going worldly, you're going to see a lot of flip. A lot of them are going to jump ship from that, you understand, and find the life raft, you know, of Rastafari and their true identity and relationship with the Moshia. You see, because all that COINTEL pro, that antichrist agenda against the black Messiah, God is getting fed up. The true God is getting fed up with that. You understand? And um, all that's coming to a crashing end. Nothing they can do to stop the Almighty. I mean, think about it. They're fighting against the Almighty. They won't call the dollar the Almighty. Wish it, Tom. That's a lie. You understand? That's a lie. And many of you all believe in and say, in the Almighty dollar, all what? You understand? All weak dollar. What, you know what I mean? What's almighty is the fact that you believe a piece of paper is the almighty instead of just what it is, a promise. You believe the promise of man, you know, but you neglect and reject and deny the promise of the king of kings and his Christ. Do you do that? But it goes on to say, so Yeshua said to him, to John, 
Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. Over those says, he says, forbid him not. He that is not against us, he who's not our adversary who's trying to stop us, is for us. But they saw one casting out devils. And they didn't say they saw one trying to cast out devils, but he wasn't able to. And he said this, and we said, and, you know, we forbade him because he was, he was, he was faking the funk. You understand? No. They said that they saw one who was doing the work, and they forbade him. And the reason why was because he didn't follow with us. You know, he, didn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't down. He wasn't our posse. You know, he's not part of our posse, so, so, so fire burn him. Check out what comes next. Mm -hmm. So now this is the third, the third part right here, verses 51. Hopefully we'll get to verse 56. Mm -hmm. And this part says, says, And it came to pass when the time was come that he should be received up. Receive again, cobble it up go to that higher height, that higher dimension, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem. He was thinking to go to the holy city, to go to Jerusalem, to Jerusalem. He set his face towards the holy city. It's like many of us should be setting our face towards Ethiopia, Ethiopia, Ethiopia. You understand? We should be setting our face towards even Shashimani. We should be sending our face towards Addis Ababa. Or, if others, towards Israel, like Whitney Houston was doing before they, um, before they murdered her, basically. If you don't, you know, it's, it's, you know, it shouldn't be shocking, really. You understand? It did say there will be many martyrs. You know, and, and then seriously, you know, we have to confront and face that reality. That's why we have to make sure we work out our salvation and get our spiritual, our ritual fears in order and not be out of order. You understand? And, and court vainly professing what we didn't build up in our heart and our mind as we should. We're too busy looking at what people wear and what people saying or out of things or people caught up in sin. You understand? Caught up in the same things we were caught up and maybe we didn't go that deep because John knew we couldn't take it. That would destroy us. So we went through stuff, but they went through more stuff. You know, I'm talking about a lot of the brothers and sisters in America and these ghettos here who are killing themselves, the, the, the young, you understand, the youth. You understand? It's clear the church, so-called church, is not doing it because John said, I will have a new name. John says, I will build my church. That's what Jesus Christos said, Yeshua says. He's going to build his own church. Mm. What about these other churches that these men and people have built? These little prosperity so-called pastors. Mm -hmm. While all of them get together and pray over the United States economy and pray over the World Bank and pray over this and, and change that around. You know what I mean? While they do that, you know, they talk about they got an inside track. Most of them are down with the Illuminati, too. But it says, and he sent messengers before his face. And they went and entered into a village of the Samaritans to make ready for him. So Yeshua, he sent his messengers, you understand, to prepare things for his coming before his face. He sent them to a village, it says, of the Samaritans. Now, not to get all into the, the background narrative, although anyone who's truly studying this should, there was a difference between the Samaritans and the, um, the Judeans. You know what I mean? Like there's a difference between African Americans and uh, West Indians. You see what I'm saying? There's, there's certain differences, although they're the same people. You understand? And when we look at this picture here, too, of ancient Israel, it was one and the same, just like today, as it was in the beginning. So shall it be in the end of this system. You understand? We have to get ready for the new world order of the King of Kings and his Christ. That's the real owner of the new world order. Don't let Babylon fool you. All they're trying to do is, is, is make the old world order a new world order, and they're investing in it while they're trying to make you think they got everything sold up. If they got everything sold up, then bring a new world order now. You know, they just say it's now, but they, they keep using these games, you understand, to make believe. They got to make you believe it because they need your energy. You are batteries in the matrix. Didn't you see the movie? You know, you plugged in. 
so you are the one who's keeping it running. You understand? Um, be that as it, well, hopefully it won't stay that way too long. Verse 53 says, and they did not receive him. Why? They did not Kabbalah him. They did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. They didn't receive him because it was like he was just passing by them, you know, like, 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 you know, how can you say, like, go to Africa and go to West Africa, but looking to go to, to Ethiopia, to East Africa. So some of the ones in the West be like, oh, man, you know, you, 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 you're not thinking about us. You should stay right here. Here's what's, what's going on. That was part of that theological kind of dispute about, about what they believed the Messiah would be, so forth and so on. Just like a lot of y'all have beliefs that, you know, you know what, what, how Christ would come and so forth and so on. That's why a lot of y'all have missed Hylas Selassie the first, And y'all don't recognize how significant that is in this end time picture. But before the end, it's all going to come out. It's all going to come out. You understand? And some of you are going to be so shocked, you understand, that y'all may not, you know, have time to repent or might not be about repenting, but be about, oh, wow, how is this? You want to call me up and say, yo, I just saw something. Now you believe because Babylon say it so? That shows who you have your faith in. And when his disciples, James and John, saw this, they said, Adonai, Gita, wilt thou that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as Elias did? Look at that. You know what I mean? So they forbade one over here who was doing the work. You understand? It was clear he was doing the work. You know, because the cast out demons, I'm talking about real so-called world or real um, um, extra dimensional, inner dimensional, you understand, um, uh, demonic agencies, you know, demonic entities or beings. That requires true faith. You understand? And a true application of word and deed. That's not something that you just throw some words out. You understand? But you have to be rooted and grounded in your head and your heart. You know what I mean? And it's obvious that whoever this anonymous person was, they were able to do it in Christ's name. And so it was. Now the disciples are asking that, Lord, wilt thou that we command? Do you want us? In other words, wilt thou? Do you want us? Will you? That, that we should command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as Elias, Eliyahu, Elijah did? Can you, can you imagine that? They wanted, they wanted to burn these people. I mean, I'm talking about fire to come down from heaven. Now, Christ's response to this is interesting. Mm -hmm. Christ's response to this is interesting. But we're going to get into Christ's response because Christ now says this. So they're asking that they be given permission to call down fire, you know, from heaven. But he turned. Christ turned around like, nigga, you mad? What, what, what's your problem? He, he turned. He looked at them. So it's obvious that either they were behind him or, you know, like he was looking toward Jerusalem and, and they were over here like, yeah, let's burn them. Let's burn them. Fire. Should we say fire burn them? Like you said, this match. Do you even ask this match? Should we fire burn Snoop Doggy Dog because he's talking about Rastafari and and Bob Marley and and he's reincarnated? Should we fire burn him for that? You understand? Or should you try to educate him on what you know if you know anything that you can be of assistance to another brother and sister who's coming forward? You know, that's the real. question.